Hey neighbor, if there's one thing that's been an enemy for me in my garden, it's rabbits. Caused me more heartache than anything else. But I think I finally got a solution. Well, it rained last night a little bit, but you can see these little holes right here. Those are rabbit tracks. I have them all in my garden. I come out here sometimes early in the morning when I got fresh ground and I see these tracks everywhere. I don't know what it is, but I've got a tremendous and had a tremendous problem with rabbits foraging in my garden for a long time. I went to pretty extreme steps trying to keep the rabbits out of my garden. You see on one of my bigger plots here, I put this fence in a couple years ago and this is chicken wire. And uh, I put it up with these sturdy posts here. I think this is 30 inches high and I put these metal posts around. Heck, probably took me a week to put this thing up. And it worked pretty good for a while, but then they started burrowing underneath my fence there. So I started getting rabbit damage in there and I was kind of upset about that. Now rabbits eating on your garden can be disheartening for anybody. I mean, I'm not putting it lightly. I mean, everybody has, has issues, that has issues there just gets really frustrating. But it's extremely important to us because we may have some new varieties such as this kale right here that we're trialing out. We have limited plant supply or seed supply and we really need to grow out a crop to see how it's going to do. Well, we got a sunflower trial going on or something like that. It's really important that we can be able to grow those plants out and see how they do. And when I come up here in the morning time and see that rabbits have mowed off what we've took so much time to grow the plants for and man it'll just get to you and uh, i've had that issue for a long time now this one plant right here you can see the rabbits got gnawed on it and what rabbits normally do is once they find what they like to eat on they just continue to gnaw them down every night they seem to come back and they just gnaw down no that means eat they'll eat more and more of that plant and just strip all the leaves off of it some plants are more susceptible than others for rabbits. They don't seem to like mustard turnips. But anything in the Nebraska family and sunflowers, they just love. Well, a few weeks ago, I had a customer and his wife stop in. And this fellow was about my age. And I knew he was an experienced gardener because he had overalls on. And his old overalls was kind of weathered a little bit. So I, needed, I, I knew I needed to pay attention to what he said. Most of the time when a fellow with faded overalls with some scars on them tells you something, you need to write it down. And he told me something that works. I told him about my rabbit problem. He said, I got a proven method right here. He said, listen to me now. He said, take sweet milk. And for you uh, young fellas out there, sweet milk is what we call regular old milk. He said, take it, take your paintbrush and take your cup and that will take care of your rabbit problem. I said, oh, this is weird. He said, there's something about that smell of that rancid milk. There again, rancid is a word we use for milk that's gone bad that them rabbits don't like. So uh, I went to the store, bought me some sweet milk. Now I was trying to find some that had gone out of date. Of course, they would already pull that off the shelves. If you got a buddy that runs a store and you're able to get your hands on some free expired sweet milk, I think that's probably the best thing. I had to buy mine, bought the regular milk, but I did kind of ramble through there and find the one that was closest to being out of date because he said it was that smell of the bad milk that drove him away. So I come back and I put it in my cup here and uh, put it on my plants. I'm gonna show you how we do that in a little bit. And I didn't have any damage. I hadn't had any damage besides that one plant I showed you a while ago where they just nibbled on the top there. And this has been probably three weeks ago. Normally this time of the year and the fall of the year is when I have my worst rabbit damage. I would have not been able to have planted any brassicas out there, but I have had that one plant's the only damage I've had and I've been applying this milk. Now he said it was the rancid smell of the milk that deters the rabbit. Now what I have found is it doesn't matter whether the milk is bad or not, it works. I'm still doing some trialing on this and I'm trying to figure out exactly what the best method is. But just keeping that on there seems to work and hadn't had any damage. So that's what I've done. If you can get a hold of some milk that's already bad, I think that would work fine too. Now something that I didn't know to just yesterday, and some of y'all going to think, man, he should already knew that, is if you got milk and you want to get it to the bad side real quick, you add lemon juice to it. So this is how you make buttermilk if you ain't got buttermilk. 
you just take your top off your uh, milk here and put you some lemon juice in there and shake it up and that makes your milk clabber or go bad. So I tried that yesterday because I didn't know that till yesterday. I had to buy a new fresh thing of milk because I'd used my other gallon. So I put me some lemon juice in there and I applied that last night and I don't have any damage this morning. Now I suspect you could take a sprayer and do the same thing I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do it and show you just like he showed me to do it. And this really makes it kind of easy. So pour you some milk into a little cup here. This is an old paint cup I got. And you want to get you a paintbrush. That is the three things you need. Milk, a cup, and a paintbrush. So you just dip your paintbrush in that milk there and you walk through there and you just slang her on there. Just like right there. Now I don't think you got to get complete coverage. You just want to get some on that plant there. Now this looks a little crude, but it makes it pretty easy and pretty fast. Now after that milk sits on that leaf for a day or two, it's gonna look like it's scarred it up, but actually you can go in there pretty much kind of rub it off there and it'll kind of speckle the leaf up, but I don't think it actually does any damage to it. But once these plants get on up and they get plenty of leaf to them, we're not near as concerned about our rabbit damage at that point. And uh, those big leaves that we're gonna harvest to eat Probably don't want to put any milk on those, but we'll wait till that plant gets big to worry about that. Our biggest problem is trying to get these plants to survive when they're small. When they get big, we have enough leaf where the rabbits can eat a little bit and it didn't cause any substantial damage. Now, how often do you need to do this? Well, there's no instructions with this old method here, but if it does rain, we know it's going to wash them off. So we know we need to reapply it if we get a good rain. Other than that, what I have found is about every two to three days, I've came out here and reapplied it and I hadn't had any damage. Could you go longer than that? Maybe. I just couldn't have any damage. So I was on a two to three day routine that seems to work for me. So that's pretty much what I would go on. If you got a spot that you really don't care if they get into it, heck, do a little trial and see how long you think it lasts before you have to reapply it. Be good information for us all to know. So there you have it, folks. It's one of the only methods I've ever found that you could use a safe natural product in a food garden. Now, there's some other things out there that they sell as repellents that you can't necessarily use in a food garden. One of them is coyote urine and other things like that that you wouldn't want to put on your food. I don't think this is going to be a problem here. Like I said, I don't know that I would put it on my mature leaves once the plant got big, but at that point, we're not near as concerned anyway. So here it is. Try it out. See if it works for you. It has worked for me so far.